hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new before getting into the video i would like to wish all of you a very very happy new year talking about my bullet journaling journey in 2022 i used the koi book space from koi koi nepal and this is the first year i finished two bullet journals 2022 was the year i loved scrapbooking and junk journaling so you will see a lot of that throughout my bullet journal I think this was the year I made most use out of my bullet journal, but you will still see a few empty pages here and there. Going with the scrapbooking theme, I did a very simple theme for January with some green Nepali lokta paper and very minimal trackers. For February, I went with the cliché Valentine's Day inspired pink theme and I especially like the trackers page of this setup. March is probably the most effort I've put into a setup because I used watercolor for all the galaxy parts of the setup and I also used little bits of washi tape to decorate. I think I saw this idea on Pinterest and I just love how this looks on this setup. For April, I did a very minimal but bright yellow sunflower theme and I think this month's spreads just give off a very positive vibe and this is also my birthday month so this is one of my favorite months as well. Next we have me and I didn't plan out the setup for this month because I traveled a lot. This was the first time I went to Europe, which is why the theme is based off of that. And I visited so many places like Madrid, Barcelona, Paris, Vienna, and Prague. And I loved every single place I visited. And this was just a life-changing month for me. Next we have June and I was very much in a travel hangover this month so I just did a simple pastel rainbow colored confetti theme with very simple layouts. This was so simple but I remember having so much fun while setting up these spreads. Moving on to my second journal, I just copied all of the important pages like the cheat sheets and the logs and I also updated some of my goals with a brand new goals page which I'm gonna be honest I didn't really fulfill but it's just a great page for motivation at the time. For July, I did a purple lavender theme and I think I got a little obsessed over Dutch doors this year so I think I did that for almost every month and I just found it to be so easy to set up and use. For 
for August, I did the scrapbooking style again with a lot of Taylor Swift lyrics here and there that you might see because I was listening to her songs on repeat at the time and I just love these spreads even if they are a little bit on the simple side. I went with a retro inspired theme for September again with some scrapbooking here and there and I love the mood trackers of this month. October is one of my favorite months because it's the start of autumn here. So I did some autumn inspired leaves all throughout the pages and some scrapbooking again. And the rest of the spreads are pretty simple but really useful. I think once you figure out what works best for you in your bullet journal, it gets a lot easier to set up. November was another month I got to travel a lot, which is why the setup is kind of rushed. But I tried to do a beach theme because I went to Thailand with my friends and I love this month. Finally, December was when I planned and released my very own calendar for 2023 so it was one of the busiest months I had but I did a very simple Christmas inspired theme with a lot of metallic accents and the Dutch door weeklies really came to use to plan the whole month. Finally, the last page has my 2022 reflections page which I still need to fill in but that is a quick look back at my 2022 bullet journal. If you have been wanting to start a bullet journal, I highly recommend it because it makes your life so much more organized and just easier to plan. So I hope you found this video somewhat helpful and enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing year ahead and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!